G'day. This part needed designing and making, and along the way I broke a few of my own rules. Mostly for good reasons, but one of them was a real, uh, I should have thought that through better. Anyway, let's get on and have a look at how we, how we went. This is pretty normal. Instead of using a separate stock in the turret, I just used the shank of the turning tool. I didn't want to use a separate stock because the number of tools in the turret was getting a bit complex and my turret needs balancing. That long retract is because there's a drill in the turret and you, I don't know whether you saw there, it actually comes forward and then goes back into place and is held in place by a shot pin. Whenever I set something up in the turret like that, I like to make sure I've got long retracts so that there is no way anything can hit the chuck or the part I'm making. There we are, cutting a thread at 3000 RPM. I used to think that shaking was when I had the leg of a tripod hitting the uh, blade, but it's not. It's the lathe. It shakes like that when you've got the feed threading so quickly. That's a 1.5. I tried using a wider one with a bigger radius to get a better finish, but I didn't get a small enough part off mid to be acceptable. So we ended up with that one, which is a very sharp corner. Finish is not the best but it works. Here we go, this is just normal turning. Only thing about this is I don't go back and clean up after the thread has been cut, which gives you a better run out on the end. This one had a bit of a burr, but I think it was acceptable. I've been making big parts lately and I haven't had room to put two gang tools in, so I just automatically stuck this drill in the turret, which was a real silly thing to do. I only use a centre drill twice making jobs for people, and that's when I've actually needed that shape. Otherwise I don't use a centre drill at all. I usually use a full form insert. This is a 0.8 insert, cutting a 0.75 thread. I didn't have a 0.75 thread, and I didn't want to wait for an insert. The thread turned out all right, so it's not a major drama. I mean, that's what mate, a lot of people just use a standard thread forming insert. Now, we all know you part off close to the chuck. That's no biggie. Um, but I set it up first and I had to move everything out 5mm because it just didn't have room to get hold of the part. And I never part off completely, as most of you all know. A second op would be expensive, so I'm parting off and there wasn't too much damage to the um, turned face or to the thread because it's a very light part and being further out from the chuck it wasn't falling into the chuck jaws and getting thrown all over the place and destroyed now this is where the design bit came in this solid this is a solenoid for gas flow and it, it came with an adjustable screw and the customer wanted a screw that would just permanently be there and allow the thing to open and shut. Um, and it opens with the solenoid and it shuts with the spring. So the hole in the new nut had to be the right depth for the spring to have the right amount of pressure to fully return the plunger. And the shape inside the nut had to allow the, um, the whole thing to assemble up so that it was in the right place. Here's the, the solenoid on the assembly. And as I said, it opens with the solenoid and the spring returns it. And as you see there, the spring is returning it quite nicely. Yeah, so thank you for watching and thanks to ProGas in Brisbane for permission to upload this video.